Hey guys, I'm back for us to do the rest of our tutorials that we didn't get a chance to yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to give everybody a second to see I'm on. I hope everybody's having a good night. I will show you another coffee cup I did. Hey everyone. Okay. Hello, hello. So I'm letting everybody get the, the notifications. I told you guys yesterday in my live that I would go live again tonight for us to do the ombre for the maroon and gold cup. <clears throat> and if you're private messaging me, I will get to them after the tutorial, okay? Let's turn the lamp on. If you're here, drop a hello so I can see you guys. <clears throat> we are going to do, let me pull this off. This. This is what we're using for the maroon and gold. This is just a uh, custom order I got. It is a Ozark brand 30 ounce. I have already washed it, sanded it, spray painted it. Hey Don. I know everybody's hey April. I know everybody's just jumping on. I don't know how many people remembered that uh, I said I would go live again tonight. Okay. I did just post a minute ago I was going live and I forgot to post it earlier. Hey Abby. All right, so like I said, we're gonna do a maroon and gold ombre on this. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Diana. Hello, guys. So we're gonna do a maroon and gold ombre on this and I'll show you guys the glitters. Hey, Vicki. And I'm just, uh, everybody should be getting them now, the notifications that I'm on. So I'll show you the glitters we're going to use and on the top will be my fine glitters. On the bottom are going to be my chunky glitters, okay? I always typically use, um, if I do chunky and chunky or fine and fine, my lighter color and my darker color go on top, but not in this instance. Hey Michelle, in this instance it's going to be the maroon and then the gold for the fact my maroon is a fine, my gold is a chunky. So, my fine goes on top, my chunky goes on bottom. Does that make sense to everybody? Hey, Michelle. All right. So, we're going to get started on this. I will show you the, uh, I'm going to put this on the turner, and then we'll get started on that. I'll show you the glitters we're going to use. And then yesterday uh, was a really long um, tutorial, which I did not mean for it to be as long as it was. But a lot of us in the chat just got talking while we were working. Yesterday, in my tutorial, we tried out uh, porcelain coffee cups. Now, if you have any spare coffee cups in your house that you're not using, be they whites or any other color, they're really great little things you can customize and sell without a whole lot of effort. Okay? Hey, Jessica. Okay. So, let me show you. I did two of these yesterday in the live I did a purple one. Um, it's over here. Okay. So in the live yesterday, we did Mod Podge Method. Hey, Christy. All right. Sorry, I'm letting some of my regulars know I was on, guys. Hey, Trisha, no, thank God, no storms tonight. It's not no hot mess up in here anymore. Last night was so interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> Worried if I have to go in a closet. Hey, Jason. Um, yeah, if you guys know of anybody that uh, usually watches and isn't getting the notification I'm on, uh, tag them and let them know. Hello, I have watched some videos, but this is my first live. Hey, Victoria, well, welcome. I'm so appreciative you chose to watch my first live, even though it can be a hot mess up in here sometimes, like yeah, last night. That was some, whew, that was some fun. Okay, 
So the coffee cup we did last night. This is how it ended up today. All right, and this was a regular, regular porcelain white coffee cup that a lady in my neighborhood had donated. And I did show you guys how we did this in the last video. Erica, thanks for sharing your wisdom. Anytime, I don't mind at all. If any of you, um, any of my regular watchers notice, uh, Erica, I'm always helping everybody. I don't mind at all. I want everyone to love this the way I do. Victoria, that is gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Look, and this side, I made this one myself. This decal I did myself. I shouldn't have made it square, but it is. Can you see that? I made that one myself. Hi, Destiny. Welcome, welcome. This is late night tumblers with me. Because <laughs> I can never get on till 9 o'clock. Hey, Flo Lamar. Is that how you say that? Or Flo Lamar? Andrea, can polyacrylic be used at all? What is polyacrylic? Uh, Destiny, options on epoxy. Um, Diane, thank you, pretty. Options on epoxy. Destiny, I use Amazing Clear Cast, and I order it straight from the company. You'll see me use it tonight. Can I see what you use to stuff inside the cup to hold it? Yes, Lizzie, I'll show you. The, I use the foam noodle pieces and foam footballs. What are you teaching us tonight, Judy? I will show you how to do an ombre on a 30-ounce tumbler. It's only 7 where I am. Well, lucky you, Destiny. All my East Coast friends always get it late. Vicky, yes, yeah, she does. I love how you did the whole handle. Samantha, I actually wasn't going to do the whole handle. My viewing audience told me to do it, so I did. And I actually ended up loving it. I had to stop watching last night and I was thinking, man, I bet the handle would look good on glittery. Well, Samantha, it was because everybody in the tutorial yelled at me to glitter it. Miss last night, did you epoxy it? I love it. I did not epoxy this yet because I let my water slide dry overnight. So this is the one from the tutorial last night. And I did a second one. And if anybody watched uh, last night's tutorial, I call Mod Podge the devil's glue because I hate it. <laughs> we twisted our arm you sure did Jason okay so I did a second coffee cup last night with the pink that I showed y'all look at this look at this is that pink not just freaking awesome hey Angie I got my shaker thing in and made me a peekaboo tumbler and mixed all my glitter colors in the tea shaker thing it was amazing yes Christy that shaker works awesome for your ombres y'all for whoever hasn't done um, or seen my tutorial with the tea shaker for an ombre of both fine glitters, you got to watch that. It is uh, life changing for your uh, ombres. I used epoxy once and it made me throw up. I was in an open name. What brand of epoxy did you use, Destiny? It might have had a really strong smell. Judy, I love the pink. Mandy, do you epoxy over the pink? I'll, these will all get epoxied over, yes. Destiny, that pink is so pretty. This pink is Barbie from Glitter Chimp. And we like to have never got her out of the closet because it was stormy. I didn't go in the closet. Y'all, you're going to make people think I'm nuts. <laughs> I love it. I got my tea shaker in today. I'm going to use it soon. Oh, awesome, April. Yeah, they're life-changing for ombres. A-L-E -A has not ordered. Oh, well, that's good. Heather, I've never tried Ailey. Amazing. De Destiny, you're going to learn. Epoxy is different for everyone. What affects me might not affect you, and what if doesn't affect me will affect you. It's all trial and error with your epoxies, okay? What is the name of the pink? Arabian Nights was the purple. Samantha, yes. Purple was Arabian Nights. The pink is Barbie from Glitter Chimp. I already, I already put the bottle away. Yes, it does work amazing. Best idea ever. If not for you, I would have never tried Aubrey again. Oh, Bonnie, always give it a second chance. I'm always trying new and different things to show everybody. I'm here. Hey, Vicky. I agree. It affects everyone different. Yes, it does, Heather. Hey, Tasha. Okay. So, those are the coffee cups. If we get a chance, we'll do a second coffee cup. And all the new people who missed last night, if anybody's interested, I'll do another coffee cup tonight. And yes, with the Mod Podge, which I don't like Mod Podge. Will you show how you epoxy the handle? Yeah, Rachel, I can. Coretta, hey. 
Hey, hey, hey. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, Jason is my link dropper, y'all. He volunteered. So everybody give him a round of applause. <laughs> he drops my links. My cup is terrible. Vicky, I'll look at the pictures after the live and I'll help you. Okay? So, Victoria, I learned how to do an ombre with a small wire strainer thing, and that is my go-to. That's exactly what the tea strainer is, Victoria. It's a it's a tea strainer, and it's just we use it as a shaker in the middle. It's awesome. Hello, Diane. Yep. First time watcher here. Well, hello, welcome, welcome. Hey, Sandy. And Angel Angela. I don't know how to say that. I don't want to butcher your name. But that's a pretty name. Welcome. I'm glad you guys decided to choose me as your first live. Please don't think all lives are this nuts. Hairspray. Go get you some aqua neck because the devil's glue is a pain. Christy, I will go buy hairspray. Okay, I promise. Where do you order the shaker from? Heather, um, Jason, drop her the Amazon link for that shaker, please. Please and thank you, thank you. He's awesome at dropping all the links for anything I refer to you guys in the group, okay? He he types and clicks real fast for us. All right. The epoxy I use, the Amazing Clearcast, you can get at Michael's. I buy mine personally from the company because they changed the mix. The mix now has a blue tint in it. It does not yellow anymore. I know a lot of people did not use Amazing Clearcast because it yellowed so fast. I personally haven't had any cups yellow, and I've been making them for quite a while now. But... I digress. The new mix from the company, you can use the discount code Amazing Savings, has a blue tint to it. It gets rid of any yellowing. Are you using devil's paint again tonight? Sandy, see, everybody is going to call it the devil's glue. It's going to be a thing, y'all. I promise. It's going to be a thing. Yes, for the coffee cup, if we can get to it, I will. All right. I'll show you the, the glitters that I'm going to use for the maroon and the gold okay i can't wait till i get my new chair guys my back kills me in this thing so i'm using a little mix of four different ones now the for the maroon i'm going to use now i can say this on here because it's i don't usually curse because i don't want to offend anyone but i can say this because it's the name of the glitter What's the coupon code again? Amazing savings, Julie. Amazing savings. I learned the epoxy method with glitter and now I hate it. Victoria, that was my thing in the last live. I'm epoxy all the way. Modge Podge is and me. Mm -mm. We don't mix. So, the maroon glitter is shits and glitz. Corinne, I'm trying to wrap my mind on how to epoxy a cup handle. Um, I've done an epoxy, and you just take your finger over the handle, you guys. Smear, smear, smear your uh, epoxy out over, up and down the handle, and up in, in, up in there. That's all you do to epoxy it. Rub it on the sides, rub it around, all over. That's all you do to epoxy a handle. You just take it on your hand and rub, rub, rub. Oh, good, Heather. I'm glad you're getting the links. Haha, ha, I love that name. Yeah. So this is Shits and Glitz, and it's a maroon. Let me see if I can bring it over here to the lamp. It's really pretty. Hey, Bree. You're welcome, Corin uh, Corina. I don't know. Don't let me butcher y'all's names. Just yell at me. I try my best. I'm going to order glitter from them just because of the witty names they have. Chrissy, they've got, they've got, uh, they did leopard, leopard glitter packs and they literally named them, uh, after Tiger King. Y'all are going to laugh your butt off when you see them. Bree, I'm glad you're going live tonight. Oh, good. I'm glad everybody's happy. Hi, Gina. Just joining. Hey, Shanna. Or Shauna, what was the coupon code for? Coupon code was for epoxy. Amazing clear cast epoxy right from the company. The mix is a lot better straight from the company. You're not getting the the old mix in the boxes. You get the new mix, which has a blue tint. It does not yellow anymore. 
So if you like using Amazing Clear Casts and you don't want to switch epoxies but you're worried about the whole yellowing thing, get it from straight, straight from the company and it uh, has that blue tint. I want to check them out just for the sales. Yes! Jason, if you could go to Glitter Chim and post the names of those two um, leopard print under the specialty glitter packs, the names. I can't, some of them have a curse word in it and I can't say it. You got it. Just like, Karina, Karina. Oh my God, I love that movie. Ha ha ha, I love it. Tiger King is a hot mess. Y'all, Tiger King had me in stitches. I'm not kidding. Hi Kelly, Brittany. Hey, I need this live. I butchered two ombres today. I tried to do over and work multiple cups at once. It's okay, Brittany. I do ombres all the time. I don't mind showing you. Okay. Y'all, my nose. Ooh, and see, it's hot again. All right, so the other... Oh, thanks, Jason. See, I knew you were on it. Stacy, one of my... I know it's an awesome movie, Karina Karina. And so, the first maroon was Shits and Glitz. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little Dr. Pepper from uh, Grateful Glitter, I believe it is. I just love the, the coloring to this. It seriously looks like a Dr. Pepper can. Hey, Juanita. See? So we're going to mix them two together. Because, you know, like with my, uh, with my yellow cup, I mixed all my yellows. I constantly sing the TikTok of Carol Baskins, and it drives my... Oh, I know, Heather, I do too. My husband's like, can you please stop playing that? Tiger King was a dumpster fire of a train wreck. Yes, Brie, it was. Like, I could not stop watching. It was such a hot mess. I was just floored. I still haven't watched. Heather, get to watching Tiger King. You are missing out on some hilariousness. I did eight ombre for an order, and I can't stop overthinking it and messing with it. Eight ombres or an eight color ombre, Brittany? Is that what you mean? My order turned out perfect to know I'm a mess. Girl, they can be stressful. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Regina. Okay. For the gold, y'all, we could sit here and talk all night long, I swear. For the gold, it is Glitter Chimp Gold Rush, and it's a chunky, so that's why this is going on the bottom. But it's super pretty. This is going to be the gold, and I'm going to mix it. Oh, eight ombre cups. Okay, that makes sense, Brittany. I was like, eight colors? Yeah, ombres can be, they can drive you nuts, that's for sure. And then the fine of the gold, I'm going to use champagne. Just a tad, not a lot, to fill in any white spots that the chunky doesn't cover. You see this? This I got in the um, their pencil pack. I got this one. I get a lot of really great glitters when I just order the packs. And then I can use them for other things. Never watched it, lol. Samantha, you don't know what you're missing. You so have to watch it. It's a hot mess show. It'll get you. So... Those are the four colors for two color ombre, but that's because I like to mix and match. All right, it's going to be, and y'all guess who got me new trays at the store this morning, Panda Man. I told him I needed new trays because mine were looking like a hot mess. They needed to be thrown away. They've got epoxy everywhere and I can't use them. Do you always put chunky on the bottom? Juanita, I do. I just prefer it that way. I use, I can ombre two chunkies, but I prefer if it's a fine and a chunky, the chunky on the bottom. Just when you think it couldn't get worse or crazier, it does. It does, Heather. It sure stinking does. Okay. So, I forgot to take the trash out of that. So, we're going to leave that over here. I'm going to use a different epoxy tray. I use two trays. Do you, don't, do you not use silicone trays? No, Elizabeth, I don't. Not seeing that pack anymore, girl. It's okay, Jason. I'll look up the pack name later. It's like F and Carol Baskins and something else. And then Cats and Kittens. I think those are the two names of the packs. F and Carol. Yeah, it's F and Carol and uh, Cats and Kittens. Y'all, when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. I'm new to this, but I have done several cups. Well, welcome. I'm glad you jumped in. Hi, Tammy. All right, so I'm going to get me a new epoxy tray. Now, I use two different bottoms, guys. 
I use one tray to catch epoxy, and then I use a separate tray with paper to catch glitter. Ooh, I bent it. Thankfully, it's just aluminum. Here we go. This is a cookie tray. But y'all, I'm gonna use this paper to catch glitter. Ooh, I like that. Free paper. Always use all of your supplies. Like, I will give you a tip. When you are shipping cups for people that order them from you, Hi, Phyllis. Can you show us the tea thing that you use? Yeah, let me grab it. This is the tea thing everybody was talking about. You get it on Amazon, it's like three or four bucks. I only bought one. I didn't buy the pack. And this works phenomenal for your fine ombres. If you find the tutorial on it, you'll see how I do it. I break my cup into three parts. Okay. Yes, cats and kittens. There you go, Jason. You found it. So, let me drag this hot mess over here. Let me push the foam back. See if I can mm, mm, push that back more. That works. I think we just became best friends. There you go. See, everybody's up in here making friends. I think that's the greatest thing about this group and crafting in general is we all are making friends we never would have met otherwise. So I think that's the greatest part about it. Okay, let's get down to business. Like that Mulan song. All right. And y'all, some of, some of y'all are my age and a little older. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't know that Be A Man song. Even if you don't like Disney, you know that song. All right. I love this group and Helen is, oh, thank you, Tina. I love this group too. I don't do tutorials in anyone else's groups, y'all. You are, I am one and only to this. All right. I'm losing my mind. Where's that? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Where's my? Oh, I covered it up. There's my. Hey, Christine. This group is so much nicer and more willing to help than a couple of other ones. I mean, Brie, it really is. You're not going to find a better group of people here. And I will help all of you any step of the way. Denier. Hey, girl. Hey, Diane. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Stacy. Even though I'm not crafty in the least, do you think I can still do these cups? I've tried three and it's just not coming out. Stacy, yes, I will help you every step of the way. Hi, Cindy. Totally just saying that. I sing it in my head. I'm not singing it for you. Would not be good. Hi, Mandy. That's our favorite song from the movie. It's mine too. Maybe it's, that's why I married an Asian. Because I love Mulan so much. <laughs> I'm in Florida as well, Tina. What part of Florida are you from? Yeah, honestly, guys, you'd be surprised how many of you are in Florida. Yes, like Jason said, Stacy, it just takes practice. I love this group. Favorite. Everyone is so helpful. You are. They are. I posted a question in a different group, and they continuously denied my post without even saying why. That's why this is my... Kayla, that's terrible. You guys ever have a question, you just ask me, and I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. I just want Mulan's makeup remover reflection. <laughs> right? Her sleeve. I have learned so much from this amazing group. I failed so much until I joined and learned what I was doing wrong. Oh, well, good. I'm glad, April, that it's helped. It's working better. Awesome. Yeah, see, all of you guys are in Florida. Me, I'm not. Nuh-uh. Okay, let's get to epoxy. Let's get down to business. And I'm going to keep singing that in my head now. Look at that. All right, so I mark my medicine cups with a permanent marker. This is how I don't lose my measuring line, y'all. See, everybody's from all over the place. Pennsylvania, Mandy, Washington State. Victoria, I'm not from Florida. Delaware, ooh, Illinois. You are definitely my favorite one to watch. Oh, thank you, Heather Page. Texas, woo woo, me too. April, Arkansas, Okie. 
Okie from Muskogee. My five-year-old granddaughter just did her cup. I'm so glad she did her cup, Jason. Hi, Charity, Chris, Liv. Oh, Alaska, girl, that's where I want to be. Freaking gorgeous there. Minnesota, Louisiana, Arkansas. See, we're all from all over the world, and cups bring us together. I think that's awesome. South Carolina, Alabama, Arizona, Austin, right, San Antonio, Brandy, Texas. Woo, woo, go Texas. I'm not originally from Texas, but I do love living here. Hello, new to the group and blingin' tumblers. Ooh, Kelly, I'm going to try a bling tumbler. I just don't know if I've got the patience. Y'all would see me do a tutorial on it and throw it across the room. All right, so we're going to mark our medicine cup to the amounts we're going to use. And this is how you guys won't lose track of anything. Hold on, I have one person who always wants to know when I'm live and she just messaged me. Let me tell her. On live now. Join. <laughs> I'm here, Hudson Valley. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm on my second one, even when as far as doing a design on it. Girl, y'all are dedicated to those bling blings. I have a confession. I've screwed up so many cups. Paige, I will help you every step of the way so you can do it. Don't don't ever give up. I know for a fact that I do not have the patience for bling. I want to do a bling cup. I love shiny. Brandy, I'll help you too. All right, any of you, you guys need help and you get discouraged, message me. I'll walk you through it. If you need to video chat me, you can video chat me. I can't guarantee I'm gonna look awesome, but I'll, I'll answer. My poor neighbors would have to call the cops on me. <laughs> hey, Brit. Yeah, no. It's a, I don't know. I want to do a bling cup. I love bling. I don't know if I have the patience for a bling cup. All right, so we're going to mark it. We got a 30 ounce cup and this is only for adhering. So I'm going to do 7.5. Now, you don't necessarily need a huge amount of epoxy to adhere your glitter. But if I ever have extra, I throw it in a mold, okay? And a mold is a silicone um, thing. I got one right here, like this. You rock. Anytime, you guys. Best way to strip cups. Jasco paint and epoxy stripper, Karina. That's what I use. 30 to 45 minutes, bam, I'm done. Janelle, I missed half an hour. Janelle, I've already been on half an hour. Oh my gosh. If you want them to be wobbly, I'm your girl. <laughs> I may need your assistance on a go for it, Kayla. Uh, Bridget in our group did a great crackle tutorial too. Wendy, don't give up. I will help all of you as much as I can. I may take you up. Oh, Vanessa, go for it. Am I the per Am I the person that always wants to know when you're live? Yes, Janelle, you know you are. <laughs> I get into the groove with bling and boom. I'm gonna try it. So, so we'll be hitting you up for that when I get enough courage to try. Yes, Samantha, hit me up. I don't mind at all. At all. All right, so this is a mold. When you make extra epoxy, get you one of these and throw it in there. You don't... Oh, there we go. Now, I'm back. You can give away with your cups. That's what I do. Every cup order I have gets a keychain. And that's just because you save any extra epoxy. I actually have a question on molds. Can I add just a little leftover epoxy to a mold over time? Can it be like a dump mold? I don't know, Brie. You probably could. How can I look at all the comments? Swipe to the right. I don't know how to do it where you're looking at me. This is mirrored. That way. Swipe that way. Or do I need something special? You're so close to each other. After how many hours can you remove them from? I wait overnight. I wait overnight. Let them cure, and they're still going to be soft even after overnight. Let your, even your keychains, let them cure three days before you give to anybody. How do you strip cups? I missed what you said. Jasco paint and epoxy. Helen is amazing at helping people. I'm always bugging her. So anytime, you guys. You keep skimming. I think it's my connection. My connection is sucky right now. I don't know why. Um, can someone throw up the link for the Jasco paint and epoxy that I use? I get it from Lowe's, and it works awesome, guys. So now our uh we're gonna mark our cup no i did that 7.5 of a and b a and b have to be if your mix is off even a tad 
your cup's going to be sticky and it won't cure. If your room is too cold, it might stay sticky. Keep your rooms between about 70 degrees, 70, 71 degrees. That's what I, I that's what I normally keep my house. And your cup will cure and let it spin overnight. Please don't take your cup off of the you want to do another cup. If you take it off too soon, even though your epoxy feels a little dry, everything underneath it is just start to slowly mush down. So don't do that. Let it spin at least a while. All right, now we're going to get the epoxy. This is the epoxy I use. Amazing clear cast. Also a PSA, and I talked about this last night in my tutorial, and I'm going to let you guys know, because uh, regarding a tutorial I personally saw, don't use automotive paint or automotive sealers on your cups. They are not FDA approved, and I will show you right here. You're going to see this little statement on your epoxy. All right, thanks, says right here complies with FDA 21 CR for coatings intended for indirect and direct repeated food contact don't use anything that doesn't say that like automotive stuff throwing it out there you're welcome Kelly Janelle's awesome at that Everybody throws up the links. So we're going to pump 7.5. I have pumps because I bought gallon jugs directly from the website. All right. Tent. Am I skipping or freezing? Somebody yell at me. I'm trying not to move the table. See the blue tint in the epoxy, guys? This is what's going to prevent the yellow. By the epoxy at Michael's, it doesn't have this blue tint in it. It doesn't have the new chemical mix. Get the one with the blue tint. All right, so we're going to take the 7.5 on a flat surface. Make sure it's even. I'm freezing and skipping. Babe, can you check the Wi-Fi? Let me see. Let me clear all this off. Is that better? Hands up, hearts, whatever. Is that better? Okay, so the epoxy, is that better? Yes, no? I'm gonna wait, I'm not seeing anybody say anything, so I'm wondering if it's, is that? All right, I'm back, is that working? The freezing, yes, good. I think I see the like thumbs up in the hearts faster than I do comments. I know there's a delay between me and you. So now all I'm doing is taking the 7.5 of A that we measured and putting it in my mixing cup. Janelle, does it help? I, I think I fixed it. Is it still skip? Gosh. Still freezes, not better. Hmm. Yep, you're good. So is it freezing only for some? Hmm. Good on my end. See, I don't know why it's freezing for some and not all. Should I just stay completely still on top and not move? Better? 
Yes, no, everybody's still having issues. Hold on, I'm gonna see. All right. A little better happening a little less. Not freezing here. See, that's so strange. Strange. Should I tell everybody in my neighborhood to get off the Wi Fi? I guess I could have my husband restart the router. But that would take a minute. Okay, so restart the router, yes? Honey, go ahead and start restart it for me, please. That's fine, I'm just gonna put it on, it on regular for now. Well, hopefully, okay guys, be patient. Let me see if I can fix this. I'm like 50 people are dropping off. Okay. I figure Panda is home and watching Netflix or the kids are watching. No, it's, I had him fix it. I made Panda fix it. All right, everybody, I fixed it. I fixed it, I fixed it, I fixed it. Don't give up hope on me. I fixed it. Technical difficulties are not my problem. Or, well they are, but not on my, not on purpose. Thanks guys, let everybody know I'm still here. Tons of people dropped out. And I feel bad. Like, I will seriously make sure it doesn't ever happen again. I know that can be really irritating watching lives like that. I'm going to comment on... Yes, please, Janelle. Let everybody know it's fixed. I feel bad. Some people probably were getting irritated. It irritates me. Trust me. Hey, Vicky. Alright, so all I did was put my A and B together in the cup. Thanks, Heather. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Not The people in this group are wonderful, but man, I've seen some vicious people in other groups. So now we're going to mix. And yes, this is a skewer for vegetables. Don't judge. I don't have popsicle sticks. It happens. Thanks, guys. I am back. I'm back. No, I can't control the internet, but I wish I could. Then I could cut it for my kids like that. Can I use the Infratrux light epoxy? Samantha, you can. I've heard plenty of people use it. I don't, but I know people do. And things do, yeah. And I forgot that post has to be submitted. Uh, yeah, I know. Hopefully, maybe another admin's on and they can they can approve it right away for you. Yeah, I waited for you. I knew you would fix it. Yes, I was going to fix it. I had my hubby fix it. Hey, Sandy. So now we're just mixing this. And epoxy mixing. Mix slowly, guys. Don't mix real fast. The slower you mix, the less bubbles you create. I know I can't control the internet issues, but I didn't marry a network professional for nothing. <laughs> He's my internet man. I just yell at him to fix it. Okay, so if you've never seen me uh, make cups before, I heat my epoxy as I stir it. It gets rid of the, um, the bubbles. Epoxy loves heat. Always heat up your epoxy. Helps prevent bubbling. Hey Sandra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I just count to seven and I take it off. Crap, Matt's home for dinner. How dare he not take longer? <laughs> Don't let him eat, Janelle. Let that man eat. She's got a mat too, you guys. Angela. Hi, Angela. What is that? An oil? 
Now, why does everybody think it's a dipstick? It's not. It's a skewer for food. I did not go out and buy no epoxy mixing stick. I took a skewer. It's okay, Kathy. You're here. See? Metal stir stick. That's all it is for me. I did that the other day and had a blonde moment and melted the cup. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. I had a blonde moment. And I wanted to, um, I think it was when I was doing a peekaboo and I poured acetone into a plastic cup and then I couldn't figure out why I was pouring out. <laughs> Y'all, it melted the cup instantly. The acetone ate through the plastic. I was like, no wonder it's in a metal can. <laughs> yeah, it was a hot, oh, that was bad. That was a, that was my blonde moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey Kathy, welcome, welcome. I'm afraid I lost some newbies because everybody got irritated with the, what does my shirt say? Oh, coffee 24 seven. We had a discussion last night about uh, coffee drinking because I was drinking coffee real late. And so I decided this was an appropriate shirt to wear. I said that name of the glitter a lot. <laughs> Oh, shits and glitz. I love that color, though. That's an awesome color. Yeah, but I know what you mean. I guess we should start titling my tutorials Late Night Tumblers with Helen. Our hot mess nonsense conversations. What do y'all think? Should I just start titling all tutorials like that? And no, uh, for anybody new watching me, this epoxy has no smell to me, okay? That doesn't mean it's not going to affect you. You should wear a mask and do this in a well-ventilated area, okay? I have a humongous window right here that I have open when I mix epoxy, okay? So all of this flows out. No fumes build up in my face. If you are sensitive, crazy nut house with Helen. Yeah, right? If you are sensitive to chemicals, wear a mask. Also, there are many different brands of epoxy that you can try before you give up. There is also something called Crystalac, which is an epoxy alternative for the people who cannot use epoxy. I'm a zip fizz girl. Caffeine and vitamins. and tastes like Kool-Aid. I, see, I can't do that. Like, I'm lucky I let myself drink coffee because of my heart condition. My heart would beat out of my chest and just go for a run. Just got on, but do you heat the epoxy? Yes, I do, Amber. Like this. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, your voice isn't matching. It's doubled over. Diane, close out the window and then reopen it. I've had that happen on some lives, and it's because the video in the background, when you first see my live, is playing as well as what you're watching enlarged. You're welcome, Amber. Epoxy mixing is so boring. What do y'all do when you're mixing epoxy? Do you listen to music, watch a movie? I can never do an ombre, I fail every time. Amber, I will help you do ombres. Don't worry. It's awesome. It's awesome. Hold on, I missed something. Watching everyone's different takes with the pox. It is. Everyone has a different knack to it. I have a hard time getting used to the Crystalac, but I have a reaction. Oh, Kathy, yeah. Try the. I hope the Crystalac will work for you. I know there's a group of support for that where there's tons of Crystalac users. It's not energy levels of caffeine. Same as a cup of... Oh, okay, Brie. How long do you have to mix it for? Just a couple of minutes. Till it clears out. Till it looks like water. Does that make sense? Water with bubbles. Till it looks like soda water. Just until it's clear. And this is definitely more epoxy than I need, but that's okay. I have a couple of other cups I need to epoxy anyway, and I have molds as my backup. I wish I didn't know how amazing your epoxy is. 
What do you mean? Amazing your how amazing my epoxy is? I set a timer for five mil minutes while I mix away. I can keep asking Suri how long I have to go. I watch my shows on Netflix when doing I listen to music. I play music. Okay, so your epoxy is mixed. And no, it's not perfect. Yes, there's mini bubbles. That's okay. It's just for adhering, guys. We are not judging epoxy right now. Just mix in the warmth a little bit. All right. It is ready. Let's get down to business to defeat the cups. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn this bad boy on. Make sure it's clean, no oils on it. If you have oils on your cup, your epoxy is going to repel, okay? Make sure you have wiped your cup with your alcohol and then don't touch it. Only touch it with gloved fingers. So any oil you get is not on there. What kind of dog do I have? I have two cockapoos. They're over here on a pillow. They never leave my side. They glitter too. I gave up mixing slowly. I stir the crap out of mine because I heat up the bottles before squeezing them into my measuring cup and again after I mix it. Removing bubbles. I don't have the patience for a slow stirring. Kayla, I didn't either. I used to whip my epoxy like I would whip, whip scrambled eggs. And after a while, I learned that's not a good thing. I hear the jingle of a doggy collar. Yeah, my dogs are over here. She's in her bed. I have two. Everyone in my house is already in bed, so I'm laying here with headphones so I can watch live. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I know it's so late. But this is going to be like late night nonsense with me, I swear. Okay. We're going to take our epoxy and put it on the cup. Okay, can you see this? Yes. Hi, Mariana. I already read that. Yeah, my dogs are always like right here. I'm super late. It's okay, you didn't miss much. I was having technical difficulties anyway. No. How bad is it that I just have this clean tray? I literally don't want to get anything on it. It's terrible when I want to keep the stinking tray clean. Make them watch too. Yes, apparently this is family friendly. This is family friendly. There's no cursing. But just don't put me on your big screen. Don't cast it to the TV. This is not a face for TV. Mm -mm. Don't be sorry. I'm always up this time. I don't sleep. Like Janelle was messaging me um, till like 3 o'clock in the morning. She lives in California, so it's not as late for her. She's like, oh my goodness, I'm keeping you up so late. It's like 3 or 4 in the morning in Texas. And I said, that's okay, I never sleep. I answer questions all night long. I go to bed. At, I craft at night. Like, that is my... I'm a night owl. That is my time. After the kids are in bed, and either the husband's asleep or at work, that's my time. I'm enjoying the quiet and you oh man what craziness happened to me a little epoxy must have gotten onto my turner wand and when i went to take the turner this morning it was completely stuck to the turner i can't see more can't get it out for the life of me acetone it regina pour a little acetone on it and rub it you're not square with the camera turn your turn your phone from this San, sandy to this does that make sense don't hold it this way, flip it this way. I noticed that too when I go back and watch the lives to answer questions. Um, that's the camera angles are weird. This only needs a thin coat of epoxy, y'all. Super thin. It's just to adhere your glitter. If you have too thick of an epoxy, especially if you're using fine glitter, it will soak in all your glitter and you end up having to use more. I love using the epoxy method to adhere my glitter because I have, oh, I use 
so much less than I do with any other method. And I rarely have to go back and do a second coat of glitter. And if you see me keep looking back, I'm just making sure I'm not missing questions. They show up slower for me than they do for you. Am I still here? I'm not out. Guys, I'm not freezing, am I? Somebody tell me. All right, we're gonna let this spin just a couple minutes to completely coat the cup. I'm also going to heat the epoxy, okay? Now see, like I still have a lot of epoxy left and that's fine. I'm going to, I have another coat, another coat, another cup I need to coat anyway. So you don't have to make as much epoxy as I did. If you're doing this on your own and you only need the amount of epoxy you need for adhering your glitter, tend to, Five to 10 mLs is all you need, okay? That's all you need to do that. And I'm going to heat this and thin out the epoxy so it coats the cup entirely. Oh, there's a hair. I had my first cup the other night that I epoxied, fi final layer, and a piece of my hair was in it. Now, I've been making cups for forever now. Not one had a piece of my hair in it until that night. Thank God it was not, it was just uh, a cup for one of my husband's friends. And you can't see it. My hair is so blonde, you don't see it. Okay, we're going to heat this up. Not close, guys. Please do not put this super close to your cup or your epoxy. It will burn and it stinks. But if you get epoxy and you put it on here and it's a little streaky, heat it up. And that'll make your epoxy move and coat your cup evenly. And make sure you don't touch the, the slide, the on button, with the epoxy hand. I've done that and almost epoxied the stinking button shut. I had to clean it off with some acetone. Okay, that should be warm enough. We're going to let that spin just a few minutes to get nice and even, and then we're going to do our glitters. Now, I'm going to do my, um, my light glitter first, my fine glitter. So I'm going to do the top to the bottom. So this area of the cup right here from the tip to right about this line where the bend goes down is where the maroon is going to go. The gold is going to go from the bottom to this line right here. Okay? Can everybody see that? I'm not seeing any comments. Am I missing something? Comments aren't popping up anymore. Oh, crap. I missed a ton. I never sleep either. I have chronic pain, so I'm used to being awake. Kayla, I have Hashimoto's, and it causes so much body aches. That's why I don't sleep either. It's not the cut part that's stuck to the football. It's the end that's stuck into the turner. Uh, acetone, Regina. Put some acetone on it. What brand of epoxy do you use? Amazing Clear Cast. You're good. You're good. You're still here. Fine. You're good. No, you're good. I'm so sorry. I was not seeing any of these. I'm very new to this. I do not wear... Do I not have to wear a mask and I can do this inside? Saul or Diana, uh, you don't have to if you don't have any reactions to it. You can epoxy outside if you want. Do you have the spatula from my Cricut? All of my cups end up with dog hair in them, I swear. Mine don't have dog hair because my cockapoos don't shed. Can you make a Lysol tumbler? Yes, Diane, I can make a Lysol tumbler. Hey, Kathy. Thanks, Katie. My comments were stuck and I had missed everybody's thing. I hope I answered everybody's just now. I'm such a dummy. I swear. Where's my glitter? Okay. 
How anal am I? I'm wiping the epoxy off this. <laughs> okay. I have a trash can over there, but since my chair doesn't roll anymore, I'm not getting up to put it in there. I always slide them. What do you make or re recommend for shipping cups? Okay, Bethany. We'll talk about that. Am I using too much epoxy when I glitter my tumbler? The glitter spreads upwards after a few minutes. Cheyenne, make sure your turner is level. If your um, if your turner isn't level, you'll end up you'll either end up with a tube top or a bubble butt. That's what I call it. You'll have epoxy that builds here or epoxy that builds here. Make sure your turners are completely level. Bethany, I save. If you see behind me, I don't know if you can see it. I save a lot of my shipping boxes that I get my orders from in, for my cup orders, for my glitter orders, or Amazon orders. I save all my plain brown boxes, and I save all of the packing material in them. So I don't have to go buy a box. I don't have to go buy packing material. I save all of it, and then when I mail a cup, I reuse it. Do you put logo decals on the bottom of your cups to sell? I do not put my logo on my cups. No. I know a lot of people do. I don't. Mariana, you have it too? See, then you know what I'm talking about. I have terrible insomnia from my Hashimoto's and then my SVT for my heart. I don't sleep. If I don't take my sleeping medication, I will be awake for days. Oh, for me to buy. What do you mean for you to buy, Diane? Where did I miss? Can you make me a Lysol? Oh, for you to buy. Yeah, if you want to buy one, just message um, Jason. If you're still there, throw up my business link page and she can message me on that. And she can, uh, I'll make her a Lysol tumbler. I have a cup. What color do you want, Diane? I have several, uh, whatever they, whatever they're called, several piles. All right, this is spun long enough. That means your epoxy is all over this cup. All right, you're not going to miss any spots. Everything is completely coated. Okay. Where's my tray? And in this tray, I have paper. You want paper to catch all your pretty glitter, okay? Let me move this. I'm going to move the cup for just a sec. Thanks, Jason. So what is the relationship? There's Jason's just an awesome friend, Teresa. He just offers to throw up uh, the links for everyone because I'm so busy doing this. He offered to be my helper. He's just my awesome friend. He's good with the computer. He is my link thrower. That's right. The missing link man. I saw it glittered from other cups on it. Ooh, I sparkle like a stripper. Look at that. That's the kind of shirt we need, y'all. Sparkle like strippers. Promise. Alrighty. Cabana boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm new to your live and I just heard you saying some about not sleeping. Me either. No meds, no sleep until Deanne, yeah. But I, I craft at night. This is my crafting time. Hey Tina. This is my crafting time. Howdy from San Zen, I'm in San Zen Laura, I'm in San Antonio too. Jason, you know with Cabana Boy, you need one of those like Speedos for a pool boy now, right? <laughs> oh my god. I should. I sparkle like a stripper. <gasps> that would be a cute cup. Probably inappropriate. Some people would think it's messed up. Make sure it's, I think I'm going to make me one that says, do it, Christy. I want it to like, in glitter vinyl, I sparkle like a stripper. Yes. That is awesome. I didn't mean it to sound something scandalous. <laughs> I thought you might be in business together. He's in the link drop in business. He is. That's awesome. Um, you want to be scared? <laughs> Y'all, can you imagine anybody that watches this on replay and is not listening to these conversations? All right, we're going to do shits and glitz first, and then we'll sprinkle a little Dr. Pepper in there, too. Me, too. You're going to start from the top and work your way down. Can you see this? Let me move it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. 
And believe it or not, this is a cup for a guy that I had an order for. When his wife ordered it, I was like, are you sure he wants glitter? And she asked him and he was like totally down with having glitter. And I was like, hey. That's awesome. And I don't um, color coat my cups with spray paint, guys. I either mostly do black or white. Just in case anybody was wondering. I don't go crazy with a bunch of spray paint. I only buy spray paint um, and spray paint if it's for a, like a colored smoke effect. Hey, lady. Hey, Katie. They have no sense of humor. Hi from Cleveland. Hey, Peggy. I don't know if y'all are on TikTok, but now all I hear is somebody come get her. We're sparkling like strippers. On TikTok? No, I'm not on TikTok. I think I'm too old for TikTok. Did you say shits and grits? No, shits and glitz. Yes, it's shits and glitz, you guys. I'm not making this up. They have some that have glitter on them. Real men can do. Yes, real men sparkle too. Jason needs a shirt. I have shits, but not Dr. Pepper. Would black cherry would uh, black cherry would work too? Yeah, I just had Dr. Pepper was the other kind of maroon ish one I had. My husband sparkles, but not because he wants to. <laughs> not because he wants to. And if you do have too much epoxy and it gets soaked in and you have a wet spot, you can keep adding glitter till it's covered or you can go in and do a second layer for your fine. That ain't going to hurt anything. Never too old for TikTok. Girl, I might be too old for TikTok. Yeah, I think it's because everybody says, you know, shine bright like a diamond. I want something different. I like to be different. I like to be individual. I sparkle like a stripper's butt cheek. That would be funny. Inappropriate, but funny. Mm -mm. Denira, it is. Shits and Glitz is so pretty. My ex-wife wouldn't get into this, and when we split up, I did it myself and started making them. See, Jason, do what makes you happy. See, if people don't understand that it makes you happy, then... Mm, my husband has always supported me. When I used to make wreaths some years ago and had a, um, my original business page was for wreaths. If you go through my old, old posts, there are wreaths that I used to make. And he supported me all, all the time. When I wanted to start doing this, he's like, all right, babe, what do you need? He went and bought me the silhouette. He bought me an inkjet printer. He goes to the, because I haven't been to the store since the pandemic started. He goes to the store, buys me gloves, buys me paper towels, popsicle sticks, the trays that you saw me open. He's, I ha couldn't have been more blessed. I've been with him since high school, y'all. I knew it when I found a good one. Second layer over the epoxy method. How do you do that? Another thin layer of epoxy and then glitter. Yes, Teresa, uh, Teresi? Teresa? Yes, second layer over that. Inappropriate is the best. Please stay off TikTok. It's a website stealing your information. Evan, I'm not on TikTok, so I don't have to worry about that. My eight-month-old grandbabies always have Oma Sparkle. Well, there you go. Oma Sparkle. I love that. I was working on cups in the barn the other day. My grandfather hollered this morning, Why the hell is there glitter in my barn? I just laughed and I said I wanted to glitz up the tractors. I've made tons of things with my Cricut. I've done so many different crafts. I want to try this bad and scared either. I won't like it or I won't be able to handle the epoxy. Heather, you really won't know until you try. I was worried about the epoxy part too. I was worried about having a reaction to it. And luckily I didn't. And it was the first one I tried. So I've never changed. I'm afraid of trying something else and having a reaction to it. You know? What is better for water slide? Ink jet or laser? Everybody's different. I just use my inkjet and seal it. I've heard with laser... Um, 
With laser, you don't have to see all. I don't know if that's true. How do I find your business page? Um, they'll drop a link for me on there. Oh my god, my hubby too. 27 years. Yeah, Deanne, 15 years. I've been with the man since I was 16 or 17 years old. I took my hub's tool shed over. We are grade school, high school sweethearts. He is my... Yeah, me and my husband are high school sweethearts. I'm back. I lost you. It's okay, Diane. I'm here. You've only been doing this over since... No, I've been doing this longer than quarantine. But since quarantine, and I haven't been out being high risk, I haven't been out to the stores, my husband goes and gets everything I need. Spray paint, anything. Yeah. My husband will go and get it all. And I, you know, I told him, I was like, I'll go and get it. You don't have to, babe. I always feel bad because every order I get, if I need something, I have to send him to the store. And I'm like, I don't want to expose you either, but he's just, he's not going to risk me. So he goes. I'll bundle up. He's a germaphobe anyway, so it works great. <laughs> he was always a germaphobe before that. I'm allergic to amazing clear cast. I, yeah, KS resin's awesome. You can use, oh wait, these are going way too fast. That color is shit. I love it. Laser, yeah, laser you don't have to seal. Thanks, Tina. Same here. I started dating mine at 14. Yikes. Girl, that's, when you know you got one, you a good one, you don't let it go. Are, are you kidding? When you got a good one, you don't let it go. That's my motto. When you got it good, why mess it up? And see, I'm just stopping it right here at the line. Tina, I'm older. <laughs> Ain't jet, you do have to seal. That's right. Y'all, isn't this a pretty maroon? Okay. I'm going to pick up all my extra glitter. And whatever glitter I miss, I put in a dump cup. I dump all extra glitter into a dump cup, guys. He's tougher. Mine is the tough one. Just like you print a pick and then cut it. Yeah, my husband's a toughie, too. That's why I always love Beauty and the Beast. He's a beast. Like, nobody knows the sweetheart he really is, and I kind of like that. That means it's more, like, personal for me. Like, he ain't got to like you. He just got to like me. <laughs> I can't never get seal not to crack, so I like laser. I don't ever have a problem cracking. My husband built me all kinds of storage stuff this weekend. Oh, that's awesome. How many smack I got from him this week? <laughs> yeah, my glitter, every time a glitter chimp drops on Fridays, he's like, oh, it's Friday at 8, isn't it? I decided to put that sparkle phrase on a cup I'm working on, and I couldn't figure out what to use a decal for. I can already see myself forgetting not to take it to church on Sundays. Kayla, yeah, don't take that to church. They might say a little something, something. Me too, now I'm wanting a dumb cup tumbler. Yes, do a dumb cup. He's going to use it in a spray paint paper. Yes. Oh, dumb cups would be so pretty if you did like a custom countertop. Yeah, we're all sitting here talking about our husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends. We talk about anything. Obviously not cup related, right? Alright, so this is shits and glitz. I'm going to sprinkle just a smidgen of Dr. Pepper. See smidgen? A smidge and a pinch. And I'm just put it between my two fingers. You know like when you season your food with salt? Think of that. Use satin or gloss. I use matte spray on mine, Deanne, and mine are fine. Did you see my question about dump mold? Yes, I did, Brie. Um, I don't know about a dump mold. I don't see why it wouldn't. I use a matte spray to seal my water slides. 
I use clear matte enamel spray. That's just because that's what I have. Single here. Well, Vicky, you can just talk smack in general then. But I mean, he's the one that brings home the bacon. He's the M to the H and M expressions. He's the M. I gotta give him a little credit. My husband and I are high school sweethearts. We got married and bought our first house 21 years old. He's one year older than me. This is the first house we bought. I took care of uh, my grandmother before she passed away and I lived, uh, we lived with her. I couldn't just leave her. So I took care of her till she passed away and then Matt went away for a year. And then we moved here and bought our first house. Hello Marva. Hey, you don't got to feel bad for being single. That's just because you're too awesome that somebody can't handle you right now. You will find someone to handle your awesomeness. So don't hate on yourself. Everybody deserves and will find the love. I promise you that. Okay. That's just a little sprinkle sprinkle of Dr. Pepper. gold and I have maroon all over this finger Cheyenne I love your attitude well it's true I'm currently telling my boyfriend 10 months ago to stop judging me on how much I spent to start you guys got to remember starting this to start a business it takes money to make money does that make sense to you guys it takes money to make money no one ever said this was a cheap hobby but it will come back to you as you build your inventory, as you build your customer base. Everything will come back to you, okay? Put your love and your art out there and it comes back. Yes, let the water side dry completely. Approximately how long do you have to put glitter on before epoxy dries? It's a 35 to four, 30 to 40 minute working time, 15 to 20 minutes. I currently telling my boyfriend of 10 months to stop judging me. I know it's moving in and out. I hope you realize your craft money will always come from your job. My craft money is my part. I'm in San Antonio. My friend and I just went this past weekend for a tour of a potential wedding menu. I loved it. I'm excited to start wedding planning again. Oh, awesome, Ashley. Congratulations. Been with my husband since high school. Love him to death, but sometimes I just want to feed him. Sometimes I want to feed mine to the tiger like Carol, y'all. And I, I used to want a pet tiger until we watched that. And he's like, no, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so I'm not getting one. <laughs> Congratulations, Ashley. San Antonio's awesome. Yes, I learned that with my cricket. I'm enjoying being single right now because I work from home so I can take care of my dad. Jason's awesome. He's taking care of his dad, y'all. I need some tips from you ladies. Oh, I'm not worried. In my first week, I got an order that pays off all three turns. There you go, Bree. I can't even get my husband to cut grass and put a storage cabinet together. The tiger. Yeah, it's true. I used to want a tiger. And I was like, hey, he disappeared without a trace. Don't tick me off. Y'all, I'm give up. I'm going to just change my glove. The only thing I hate is how sweaty our hands get taking off the gloves. Now, I can't say I've ever had a problem getting my husband motivated. He does it on his own. That man can have a week off and he's like, oh, I need time to relax. And I'm like, then relax. He finds stuff to do. Remember sardine? Yes, sardine oil. If you have not watched Tiger King, you have to just to check the references we're talking about. Panda head and all. Yes. He'd be on that like that murder crime scene show. The only thing left that they found was a panda head. <laughs> You can feed my eggs to a tiger. Call up Carol, Joanne. She'll take care of you. Well, it's late here. I'm going to try and head to bed. I have to get up early. Thanks for the fun. Look forward to rewatching. 
Yes, you're welcome, Victoria. Get you some sleep. This is great for replays. And then you can skip over the blah blahness. So I'm going to sprinkle just a light bit of the fine and then do the chunky. He's still learning to do cups. I have a hard time getting it smooth. I have rough areas after I put epoxy. Make sure you're putting a good um, coat of epoxy, Elizabeth, if you're getting rough areas. Make sure it's coated really well. And that you're smearing every part. The tiger scissor. My dad dried it. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to do this. Just real light, because I have the, um, the chunky gold, and I want that to stick. And if I put too much fine on, it won't stick. So I'm just going to do a little. Ooh, y'all, this is pretty, though. I'm just going to do it in some spots to break up the white. I know it's gorgeous, y'all. And breaking up the white with that champagne was awesome because now there's no white peeking underneath my chunky. And when you guys do chunkies, pat them down. Then you won't have so much standing up and it's harder to sand. Burgundy or gold are my two favorite colors. I'm so in love with this cup. Oh, awesome. Hi, Christine. Right? You're going to need sunglasses for this baby. Do you sand down your tumbler before you start? So my uh, prep process is I wash it after I get it. I sand it with 220. And I uh, wipe it with alcohol to get all the black grime off that comes up. So we're going to sprinkle just a little more champagne in. Just in these little areas, I still see some white. Okay, I have a question. I have a cup on a turner not dry. Do I have to strip it? Do I or do I have to wait? What colors did you use? Um, Shits and Glitz with Dr. Pepper and then Champagne and Gold Rush. Hi, Nicole. I have a cup on the turner. How long has it been turning, Joanne? Pat down your chunkies, guys. Pat down your chunkies. If you pat it down, then when you epoxy this twice before sanding, you won't have to sand as much because it'll already be flat. Pat, pat. About four hours. I always spend at least four hours.
try to make that line a little more even. Nope, throw it in the stripping bucket. I'm I'm doing an om an ombre of and I have some spot that I missed. Can I add another coat of epoxy? Yes you can, Brandy. You sure can. Anytime you have a layer that's a little messed up or you didn't get the coverage you wanted, you can do a second layer, y'all. Nobody says you can't. How much epoxy do you use to cover that? To seal this, about 15. Because it's a 30 ounce and it's a chunky, I'll put a good cover layer on this. Well, regular nail polish remover also strip. It has to be pure acetone. Pure acetone works best. I mean, I've never used nail polish remover, but everything I've heard says acetone. And don't worry, I'm not going to miss the butt. That's the most important part. Take care of your butts, people. And by butt, I mean the bottom of the cup. I call it the butt. How much epoxy do you use on the base to get the glitter to stick? 5 to 10 mLs. If you're using uh, epoxy as your adhesion, 5 to 10 mLs only. Ooh, that's too much. That's okay. Can I touch the butt? Yes, touch the butt. Don't leave it. The butt's important, y'all. All right, now we're gonna do the bottom. What's that per part of five or 10? So if you're doing 10 mLs to coat a cup, five of A, five of B. If it is five, M, uh, if you're gonna use five mLs total, then it is 2.5, you got me doing math, 2.5 of A and 2.5 of B. Yes, I'm touching that butt. You best believe it. I'm going to turn it around towards me. Give it a good spanking. Uh. Oh my goodness. I just mixed this, y'all. <gasps> I put it in the wrong bottle. I'm such an idiot. I was not paying attention. I'm gonna have to strain this. Touch that butt. I'm gonna have to strain this. <laughs> All that butt talk, I know. Y'all. Man. Oh well. I'll just buy another bottle of champagne. This will be my uh <laughs> my gold mix. <laughs> How do you strain? Because um, the gold rush is chunky and the champagne is fine, you just put it in like a strainer. Shake one out. I actually like them together.
I just made my own glitter. I made my own glitter. I don't know. It didn't sound close to the window, so it's not ours. Sorry, I was answering my husband. Mega dumb cup. No, I just made my own gold. I'll just use this for my sand on my beach cup. Boom. I just made my own glitter, guys. I'll make my own glitter company just by my mess ups. How's that? I haven't got to do a beach tumbler yet, Bree, because my cup got stolen off the porch. Now you have a Dr. Gold, or is it gold pepper? No, it's just the gold and the gold, so it's champagne and gold rush mixed together. Y'all. Thank God they're the same color. How long do I have to wait till I add another layer of epoxy and glitter? At least two hours, Brandy. Really is shits and glitz now. <laughs> it's it's my own personal mix now. So then when everybody's like, oh, where'd you get that glitter? I'm only like, Psh, I made it. With my own two hands. That clear is so awesome. Thank you. I made it myself. I now specialize in cups and glitter. And I'm just pushing the chunky down as this comes around, guys. I think it's rained every day since 2018. What are you going to do to the cup after it's done drying with this glitter? I'm going to seal it twice, sand it, decal it. I bought a red glitter at Walmart that was called Party Mix. It had a chunky and ultra fine. Well, the, um, the Mixology glitter from Glitter Chimp is already like that. It's small pieces and big pieces. I did just get an order for a um, 20 ounce red smoke effect tumbler. I guess I could go live doing that if anybody wants to see that. It's got a Day of the Dead theme. It's It'll be like a dark burgundy red. See, we can make pretty... It's a happy accident, like Bob Ross would say. It's a happy accident right here. Because I really like it. What do y'all think? Look at that. I'm really happy with this. And I'm just patting my chunkies down. This is how I get your chunkies, my chunky smooth. I just sit here and pat it as it spins. Yes. Do you seal with your matte enamel spray? You were talking. Um, I don't typically always seal my glitters. If you're ever in doubt, seal. If you're worried about it and you want to question, should I seal this? Then seal it. I don't always seal mine. I don't, uh... Usually the amount of epoxy I use, it, it sticks pretty stinking good. Should call this like Rumple Stillskin's Gold or Over the Rainbow. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Do you ever f find your list for beginners? Lisa, 
I thought I sent it to you. I've had so many people send me the ask me for the list, and I can't remember if I who I sent it to, who I didn't send it to. I'll look again. Are you going to fade it out more? What do you mean fade it out? I don't know. I want the the top. I guess I could. Not for this because it's chunky and um, I do a fade out with my uh, with my fine glitters. Oh my Bob Ross instructor taught me to oil paint. Bob Ross taught her. Sweet. You sent it to me. See, Denier, I don't know who I'm sending it to anymore. I got so many and I try to make sure I get it to everybody. Eh, I will get it. Just privately message me and I'll do it. He doesn't have the link, guys. <laughs> I'll, it's, a, it's not a link. It's a list I actually made. Where, what bottle am I going to put this mess in now? So much for my pencil cup. I'm going to have to order another bottle of champagne. Literally. Another bottle of champagne. Didn't get it. Okay, Lisa, PM me and I'll send it to you. Right after the live. Do I have a spare bottle I can put this hot mess in? Looks like an ice cream cone. Guess so. And I've got my epoxy over here. Let me see if I got a spare bottle to put this hot mess in. I do not, y'all. What am I going to do with it? I'll figure it out. It'll be my new sand cup. I think I'm gonna have to have my husband do tumblers and I'll do decals. This is chemical all day. If you get you a uh, mask, Heather, you can work with them. As long as you're not allergic. Ziploc bag. Okay. You can put it in a cup for now too. Yeah. I'll get one of my um, spare cups. As I sprinkle gold glitter everywhere. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm just missing. Don't ever take me too seriously if you ever see me in this future. So, but what I'm noticing is that the glitter with epoxy isn't only one coat. Oh, you're really sensitive? You don't think a mask would help? One of those respirators? So this isn't going to need a second glitter coat because I did the champagne first. And then I did the chunky over it and then just sprinkled wherever there was a little white. This isn't going to need a second coat. This got really great coverage. And I got a new glitter. But definitely pat your chunkies down, guys. That's how you're going to prevent having to sand a ton. Just go through as it spins and pat it down. I felt like I couldn't breathe in that thing. I don't know how he wears them all night at work. Uh, well, Heather, have you tried the Crystal Lac then? I don't know if that smells though. Don't hold me to that one. Just need the list. Okay, Lisa, I got your uh, 
your message. I'll drop you that list after. Zinchel. So I'm new at this. What I've been noticing is that when using the epoxy method, I only see one coating being used. Is that correct? Yes. Um, because the epoxy soaks in the glitter so well, you don't really ever have missed spots. But if you do, you can do a second coating. You don't usually have to, though. If you get a real good first go around. You guys, it looks really neat. And I usually don't like the dark over the light, but I think it really works with this. And then here's my hot mess mix. This is the champagne and the gold rush mixed together, which my champagne is totally tainted now. Damn. One of my friends ordered from some the other day, and I'm going to use and see what she see. Yeah, see if it works for her. This is so tainted. I'm going to have to strain it. Man. Not. I use the Marina. Marine Pro. The Pro Marine with a mask in the garage. My skin doesn't like it. But I can stop. Just be careful, you guys. Did you start with epoxy? Danielle, I started with epoxy. Mod Podge is not my friend. It's the devil's glue. Mod Podge does not like me. We don't mix. <laughs> okay. Now that we have my pot of gold, that's what I'm going to call this, pot of gold, like I made it up. How would you do a second coating? So I would let this, if I did a second coat, I would let this spin at least two hours. Then I would come back with my epoxy, do a thin coat. You can seal it too if you choose. But I would come back with my epoxy, do a thin coat, and then redo it again. I hate Mod Podge too. Yes, Mod Podge and me are not friends. We're not. So, okie dokie guys. How did you do your lead sleeve? How did your Leslie cups? They turned out really great. I did another one too. I gotta epoxy these tonight. Try Chimvoila. No, I haven't gotten to try that yet, Jason. I'll have to figure out where I can get that. Okay, so what do you guys think? With the Shits and Glitz Dr. Pepper, and since I mixed it, Pot of Gold. Good night, Glitter Girl. That glitter girl. Good night, Angie. Yeah, that's the one from last night. I think this came out really sweet. Do you take your cup off the spinner to seal? Yes, don't spray paint it on the spinners, guys. Spray paint them outside. Seal them outside. What does he want on his cup? What does who want on this cup? This cup? Um, it's a um, an emblem from an army army firefighter emblem. And there's two emblems they want, and then uh, a name, U.S. Army, and then his name. Good night, Helen. I'm glad I got to see some of the life. Good night, Tina. Yeah, we're gonna. Get ready and hop off here. We did it. We got it done. I seal with clear. Uh, I seal my glitters with uh, Krylon Glitter Blast. G. I. That's how I seal mine. Let me see if I. I'll grab you the cup. Let me grab it. That's what I seal my glitters with. And this is what I seal my water slides with. Those are the only two things I use to seal anything.
Does everybody get that? And I'll probably use this extra epoxy and put it in a mold. So, if there are no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and get off. I'm sure Panda Man is over there waiting for me. Needs my attention. What do you do after you seal it? After I seal it, then I, I let it dry and then I'll epoxy it twice. And then I decal and I seal my decals. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get off tonight. Um, I do have some other orders coming in. Once I do them and I get my beach cup, we'll do that. I uh, will also continue with the storyboard tutorial. I'm still working on the decal issue I got with it. And once I get that set, we'll uh, we'll work on it together again. Okay, guys? Slick, slick. Slick stick instead of prep beam. What is slick stick? If you spray it and it goes on your fine glitter. I just see, spray it all over, Melissa. Uh, fine glitter and chunky. I spray the glitter sealer all over the whole cup. The whole cup gets it. I don't know what slick stick is, Mimi. I don't know what that is. Alright, guys. I'm going to let you go. It's getting late. I know everybody's getting tired, especially if you're on the East Coast. So, uh, I'm going to work on some other things for us to do more tutorials on, okay? Uh, I've got those two other coffee cups to do. And we'll work, I'll work on the decal for the storyboard for the Nightmare Before Christmas, okay? So, if you have any questions as you guys go along with this process, you can PM me. Any questions and any and all questions you have, please feel free to message me, okay? So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.